What's up, Champions fam? It's Zeke 410, back on a brand new WWE Champions video. Now, ever since July 2020's July Jubilee MLC launched a few days ago, it has been met with utter animosity, not just from free-to-play players, but also from pay-to-play, top-ranking factions, unranked factions, you name it. Anyone within the community has something to say. And of course, you're going to have your trolls. You're going to have your people who are indifferent. They're just going to go through the motions and do what they feel is necessary to them. I can't knock you for that. To each his own. I'm not here to be a judge. I'm just here to be a voice. The reality of it is, is this. Champion showed its utter true potential last month with June 2020's Masters of the WWE Universe. And... They spoiled us. They spoiled us a bit too much. But did they really? Because no lie, in my opinion, champions last month pretty much did everything that they should have been doing from the start. Learn from your mistakes. Make the product better. And everyone has fun. And when people have fun and enjoy the game that you present... They will be more willing to give up their disposable income funds on your game because if you didn't have the whales, if you didn't have the dolphins, we wouldn't have a game to talk about at all. That's just how a business works, right? If you didn't have people investing in the game, there wouldn't be a game to discuss. But at the same time, the way they go about things, ever since they started this new format, this new formula for WWE Champions, that we've been force-fed, you know, force-spoon-fed to deal with, like, whether we like it or not, you know, it does create a fine line that's constantly stepped upon. It's constantly stepped over because it's basically saying... Here's some trash content. We don't care how you really feel, even though we got all these constant, you know, pop-ups in-game of, oh, give us your feedback. We've given you years of feedback. And one minute, it seems like you listen. You correct the wrongs with one MLC, and then you double back down on the things that make us hate champions now the easiest resolve to this is like anything if you don't like something you can easily just stop playing you can walk away from something you know the same way if you get in an argument with someone and you don't like conflict you don't like confrontation especially if it's not needed you can just walk away and leave it in the past and press forward but to a lot of us you know we're in this game to have a good time. We've put in too much work. We've invested too much disposable income. We've met so many great people. We love the position that we are in when it comes to champions. And it's hard to give that up. A lot of us have addictive mindsets. You know? A lot of us have competitive mindsets. So I understand why so many people continue to bash the game. But they never leave. But the problem with champions is, is like I spoke about in the overall breakdown video for Masters of the WWE Universe, they've put themselves in a position that they've proven that they can provide a great overall experience for an entire month. Yes, there were still some hiccups, but they proved that they can give us the game we want and the type of content that we need and everybody was happy people still bashed it that was going to be a given but they proved that they can spit out quality content every month and i don't know where things went wrong in the chain of command for things to revert back to, to the way they are. I don't. But look, I can't tell you what to do. Ultimately, 
You are going to do what you feel is necessary to you. You are going to do what you feel is best for you. And you are going to abide by the laws and rules made quite clear within your faction family. So, all I got to say is this. Look, I'm heartbroken that champions let us down so early. And granted, there are some things still up in the air. We don't know what other contests are coming in this MLC. And I'm not even going to lie to you. Hoping that a mega superstar is going to change everything is not a good way to look at the game. Oh, they did this. They did that. Oh, why are they going back? They're doing things like this. Why did they take these rewards away from these milestones? And why is it such a gap to get to these milestones so you can start getting the good stuff? Oh, look, a new shiny mega. Oh, they're forgiven. That's not how you go about things. Last month, they provided quality content. They provided solid units to chase after. And people were having fun. They had their complaints of, oh, I don't want to wrestle in space. I don't like the backdrop. What's this have to do with wrestling? But people ultimately were having a good time. That's not the case here. Right out of the gate. Right out of the gate. People are upset. And no matter how many pop-ups you have about feedback, if you're not listening to the feedback, what's the point of the pop-up? What's the point of saying that you're listening but then you go back to playing death. I don't understand. Uh, Killian Dane, not the best free-to-play unit. Lana, not the best chase champion. What's the point of really getting deeply involved this month? I truly don't know. I really don't know. I'm not going to hold you off for long because as you can tell by my tone, I'm actually really concerned about this MLC, but I'm not really concerned about the MLC. I'm more or less concerned about each and every single one of you and my beloved hashtag champions fam, because y'all have reached out to me. Y'all have made it clear how y'all are feeling, where y'all stand on this content and the D9 doesn't make it any better. So me personally, I just look at it like this. Do what you can. You don't have to spend money. You shouldn't spend money. Especially if you're not having a good experience so abruptly soon. All I could really suggest to all of y'all, and that could easily be overwritten by your leaders and your officers, is have fun, hoard, farm, do do your blitz runs, even those are not the same to me. It, it just doesn't feel right. Do your showdown tournaments, do your feuds. But basically build up your resources because we know five stars are coming. You're going to need the TPCT. You're going to need your training posters of assorted colors. You're going to need your coins. You're going to need your tokens of assorted classes and rarities. Just take this month off. Get as far as you can, but don't break the, break the bank on it. Last month, the way things were flowing, even with a few hiccups, you know, there were solid reasons for you to invest. This month, I'm not, I'm not getting that vibe. So, and with that being said, y'all, sorry to be a downer. You know, usually I'm full of energy, but... I'm just just speaking from uh from from deep deep within like there's nothing really exciting about this month and there might be a contest and if it's really hype then you'll hear that energy in my voice but right now I'm simply just talking to y'all y'all let me know how y'all feel about July Jubilee let's talk about this um really not impressed really truly not impressed at all not impressed with Dane, not impressed with Lana, not impressed with the way they basically got it set up to coerce you into spending your disposable income funds just to play ball right out of the gate. 
Uh, not really a fan of it. Don't like it. They've done it too much. And no matter how much they try to force spoon feed us this new formula, you know, of MLCs, it doesn't work. Instead of giving us more of what we need or what we want, they take things away. And it just makes the game boring. And when a game gets boring, it's time for a change of scenery. And if they're not going to make that change, when they've proven, they just proved a few weeks ago that they could go in the right direction, but they purposefully decide to go down the wrong path, you're not getting any of my money. I can't speak for anybody else. Kudos to those who hit number one on the leaderboards. Kudos to those who spend what they spend. Because if it weren't for the whales and the dolphins, you know, the game wouldn't be live. And if the game wasn't live, we wouldn't have something to discuss. But at the end of the day, this MLC is not worth it. It's really not. Unless they have some mind-blowing contest that changes things around. At this point in time, things that have been released, the things that we know of at this very moment are quite lackluster, unless you're one of the few that will be blessed with a guaranteed five-star. So with that being said, y'all, bad times don't last, but champions do. And uh, I just hope that y'all all have a blessed day, a blessed week. Again, let's just talk about it. Um. I don't want to sugarcoat anything. I'm not going to sound excited or static about content that really isn't that good in my view. That's just me. So um, let's just talk about it in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts and mad love to each and every single one of you of my beloved hashtag champions fam. And until next time, stay tuned. Peace.